God, it's coming right for us. What is this? Get out of here. All right, guys, we're back on this 2005 Bird Expedition. And uh, we have the charge motion control motor. Wow. APDTY Auto Parts Direct to you. With an APT, APDTY sticker. And look at that. You know it's bad when we're rebranding. Oh, that's voided warranty. Let's just put that back on right where it goes. Okay. You know it's bad when we're rebranding Dorman parts. And I tried really hard to not get the Dorman unit. The OE unit. It was like $400 our cost. And uh, I don't even know what this cost. Customer went and bought this. So, on him. Anyway, let's transfer over our linkages, get this guy bolted back onto that intake. Let's put this thing back together. 2005 Ford Expedition. You guys remember this truck? It's the one that I tried to set on fire the other day when I was diagnosing an electrical short. Found one of the circuits was shorted to ground. It took down many, 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 many sensors in the vehicle. And the thing was stalling, running rough, not shifting, and no AC. Ended up pulling the intake manifold off and found the charge motion control motor has an internal short, which is what was taking out that uh, that circuit. If you missed that video, just check the links in this video that will take you back in time to the first video. Now we've got our doorman rebrand unit here. We've got our load up OE unit here. We've got to transfer over these little linkages. And I must make sure to not get them flippy floppy. They're different colors, probably for a reason. Pop this guy on out of here. Become disconnected now. Uh, I said now. Why aren't you listening? I know. There we go. Got her. Let's not mess that up. This one went like, I'm already messing it up. It went like this. Da, 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 da. Clicks. Very good. One more. Clip gravity. Okay. Intake right up here at the moment. Stay right there. Now this guy goes right about like so. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. Reconnecting the linkages. Uh, begin linkage clicking now. Get on there. There we go. All right, we're good. Okay, next up, I need to regasket that intake, and I want to blow all this dirt out of here, and I need to clean up the mating surface on these cylinder heads. I'm also going to have to remove this coolant cross over here in order to fit the uh, intake back in because they don't fit through there very well. It was actually a miracle I managed to get it out without removing this. Uh, anyway, uh, I've got to pull this off. I've already drained all the coolant out of it. When you guys weren't looking, we're just going to go through, clean this up next real quick, and uh, then we'll pull this uh, crossover off and then get that intake reinstalled. Begin air pressure debris evacuation procedure now. Nice, shiny, all of it. Yes, I probably should have used the white. It's one grade uh, smoother than the green. Uh, however, I was using super, super light pressure and that carbon was very, very thick. So I elected to use the green for two reasons. One, uh, that's the one that I had. And uh, two, that's the only one that I had. Incoming high pressure cleaning procedure now. in there. I 
I've got to do the same bit of cleaning on the coolant crossover and then now uh, we get this intake reconnected more loud noises this is finalized air blowing let's get all this out of here I also have replaced the gasket on the manifold did that when you weren't looking begin with but you guys know how I like to tempt fate on occasion all right we're in all right so I'm gonna need to reach back there and feel around and uh, get those knock sensors reconnected uh, I think there's two other connectors back there then there's the one for the, our charge motion motor so let me uh, let me get back there and plug that stuff in I almost got it I think this is not easy to reach. Why? Where have I failed in life? Man. I got my hand on, on the part. I just can't get it to slide over. It's all that linkage and stuff in the way. Oh, I'm going to pull this out some. Hang on. Here. That's too far. I'll have to go around from the side. It's hot in here. Oh. One connector. I got one easily connected. I'm close. I'm really close again. Ooh. Oh, I feel it's going in. One more. Connected. Come on, do it. Yeah, I got it. I got it guys, it's connected. Okay, so I got got the wire harness in the back uh, routed and it's hung on its studs. I put the bolt back in, everybody's connected. I've got the vacuum tube connected uh, down there in that corner. If you know about that vacuum tube, it is a, uh, a horrible evil nightmare to connect and uh, I disapprove of its entire existence. But uh, that's irrelevant right now. Next up, I need to get the crossover in, and I can't bolt this down until I do, because that crossover sits underneath of this little tab on this manifold, and then sandwiches in, so I have to get that in next. Okay, surface is prepped on this crossover. I've got two new gaskets on there. Odd, because uh, one is blue, so we know that it's good, uh, but the other one is uh, not blue, so I don't, uh, I don't know why they did that. But maybe they ran out, who knows. Anyway, let's get this thing installed. Moving on in. I hey. know oh, the rain's coming. Windows are down, I know. I'm getting there. They're warning me of the impending rain. Oh, that other one's back there, I think. Hard to reach. Why? I'm not taking this intake back out. I'll sneak in there with the uh, wobblies and sockets to tighten that down. That vacuum hose in the back for the booster was an absolute bear and it hurt. Just about the rain, so I'll roll up the window. Oh, please roll the windows up. Thank you. Yeah. You want me to put the key though? Uh, just throw it on my little blue thing. I need to go roll my windows up too. There's a storm of brewing. Ah, it's coming right for us. It's a non-emergency. It's over there. Safe. Okay, back to what we were doing here. Pre-clicks. Check it out. Super shallow socket. 
double wobble extension connection. This will make its way very nicely in there. Oh yeah. Good. Click. Time to get the manifold bolts in. What's up? Threaded one at a time. Two what? For the, wait, what? Oh, you mean the tool? Oh, uh, I have a few of those big sockets. Uh, check my uh, check my big box. The middle bank, uh, second drawer up. There's a couple of them in there. Anyway, we're gonna get all these threaded and then uh, apply torquage to them. Now, the rest of these are long range bolts because there's stuff in the way. So I'll just deposit them with a magnet and we'll get them with a wobbly socket later. If I can find the hole, I'll just keep poking around until I get it. There we go. It's in, ha ha. Can you imagine if I drop this right now and it fell into the valley? Oh, the anger. All right. And uh, I got that one started too with my flangies. I uh, guess my finger's okay. I know you were wondering. Oh, where is that thing at? Gotta tell it what to do. <clears throat> Reach. Are you yelling at me? Better now, bro. I brought you back to part two D. Um, then a return. Great. This. What is they, this? This green thing that you want a white one of. Yeah. They can get it, uh, but not today. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, okay. yeah. Man. They don't have it on, on the, hand the, itself. You know, this is about as common as sandpaper. Seriously. Yeah, like, they just don't have it. Wrong with the world at large. That's fine. I'll do something else instead of using that. All right. No worries. Did you want me to get these on order in white? No. All right. No. Nope. You've, uh, they've already failed me. They're dead to me. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, no worries, dude. I'll figure it out. Okay, a little bit of torque action on these things, and uh, we can start putting the rest of this stuff back on. This extension's too long. Click. Placement, not the original one. Okay, all the fuel injectors are on. Let's see, let's get uh, this fuel pressure sensor connected. What else we got here that needs to be connected? Oh, here we go. We got some cam phasers. I disconnected those earlier when I was diagnosing. We can plug those guys in right now. I'm trying to get everything buttoned up and put all the loose ends away clean up the workspace and make sure we don't miss anything. 
got this connector and I forgot where it goes. I think it goes over here on the harness. Yeah, that's where it goes. And uh, we've got a fuel line right here. I'd like to get that thing set up. We're ready for that. All the other connectors are connected. It needs lubricant. A little bit right there. Um, what, what is this? Okay, clickages and a safety clip. Okay, throttle body unit. Connected, clicked. Four bolts. I'll do these front two first just so it locates the part. That's three and four out back, and I can't see it. Got that one. Okay, we've got this uh, PCV hose right here. We'll get that thing installed next. It runs from the intake over to the valve cover to uh, siphon off crankcase ventilated gases. Click. Let's drop the nader in next. Two bolts are already down there, this one and this one. And it just uh, slips over them. We'll slide that right there and then find the wiring harness. Yes. We'll connect you right here. storm out there is getting a little wild. You guys hear it? Whoa, there's wind coming in and rain. We got sideways rain. You guys all right? I guess they're all right. Oh no. Got sideways rain. What is this? No, it's coming right for me. Get out of here. Okay, can't tighten down the bottom of the nader until we put the brackets in the top of the nader. Let's get that thing set up. More right here. Yeah, we're getting somewhere now. Clickages, sequential clickages. Those would have been so easy to forget. Okay, we've got our O-ring right here for the thermostat. Let's go ahead and set that back in. So we've got the belt on. Injectors connected, hoses connected, alternators on, connected, 
duty dues, those are all accounted for. We have to put another fuse in it because the that one fuse is still blown up. And I've got to throw the intake on, connect the battery. Ah, we also have to connect that EVAP solenoid. We've got to connect the AC compressor because that's still disconnected from the Diag. And we've got to connect the purge valve out back. So uh, there's still a few things to do. But we are in the home stretch, which is good. We like it there. Um, this, I don't remember where that connected. I know that this goes into the intake. I think that bolts on out back. So I need to move this connector again. This goes back here like so, and clips on to the intake. There, okay, all right, sorted that out. Put that connector back on, safe. Oh. And four bolts. And that was bad fault gravity oh where did it go what oh are you i see you i got it i got it i got it no worries my clumsiness has been corrected Doo -doo -doo. this thing backwards I think this is gonna go yeah yeah that's another PCB tube I've got the AC compressor connected, by the way, that has been hooked back up. Uh, the only thing I do not have connected is the purge valve out back above the spare tire. I'll get that later because right now it's covered in water because it rained and I don't want to go down there. All right, let me go fetch a fuse and we're going to start this, clear the codes and uh, recheck it and see if we're good. All right, back to our cabin. Let's get our fuse replaced we're looking at that 15 amp right there that's the one i blew up last so let's just go ahead and get that guy out of there right now we got a new one can you see probably not looks good plug you in right down okay first restart here we go powering on fuel, man, fuel pumps priming stockings the engine No. Yeah, one more time. There we go. Okay. Turn and we're like, what? Great. Oh, so this, this one, wow. Okay, there's that check engine light that came back on. OD on off light. Oh, I just remembered I have not plugged in the transmission. Uh, tail shaft speed sensor or the rear O2s. I better go do that right now. I forgot those. Uh, back down under, I have more things to plug in, uh, especially on that trans. I can't forget that. Where that thing go? Sorry, it's a little dark in here, guys. I know. I didn't bring a flashlight. Anyway, here's the trans connector. You can't see what I'm doing. It's a words only kind of thing here. There's one of the O2s. Get on there. Ah, clickage. All right, one more O2. Okay, I made it. Let's go back in, restart, and bring the scan tool with us. 
Okay, let's try this again. Restarting, good. Scanning. Okay, we're in. I'm clearing everything out of every module and uh, we'll rescan it afterwards. See what's left. Let's see what we got. Codes menu, memory codes. Oh, okay. We've still got a bunch of uh, trans codes in here and one for that EVAP vent thing that I have disconnected. All right. Well, it looks like there's more stuff to figure out. Maybe I left something disconnected. I need to recheck that. Not yet done. Okay, I got all that trans stuff and the O2s plugged back in. Let's try this one more time. Doing our reset. Uh, we see the OD on off light has stopped. Okay, so that was from me finishing my job and plugging it back in. It probably still has some uh, DTC stored, so let me just go back in and we'll check those, clear them again. And... Uh, see if we have victory or not expedition yes continue hurry up don't have all day uh, codes menu clear codes no exit I wanted to clear them let's clear them out I don't care what they are there's a billion of them and waiting a second yep. light off good exit shutting down restarting See, no light, there's our check engine. Still have a solenoid for the EVAP dis disconnected. Let's just make sure that's our only one. Codes menu, memory. I think that's the only trouble code left. Yeah, vent control circuit fault and OBD2 checks incomplete. So yeah, we have victory. I gotta plug that little guy back in. Uh, put the spare tire back up a little bit. We have some trim to put away down there, down here, and a little bit of wiping down to do because this thing has gotten dirty after being climbed all over. But uh, we are good to go. Confirmed fix, a couple details left to button up, and that's gonna do it. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out right now. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and I sincerely hope that you did enjoy this video. I hope you also enjoyed the first video in this series, and again, if you missed it, the link for that video is in this video's description down below. I wonder how many times I can say video in one sentence inside of one video. Anyway, if you don't want to use the link in this video's description to go find the link for the other video, you can also look for the link for that other video up here at the top of this video. And if you wait all the way to the end, you'll find the link to the last video in this video right here at the end screen of this video. So again, and as always, thank you for watching, and most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later.